everybody. It's uh, Whispering Adventures here. Just checking in. Uh, I try something a little different. Kind of got let go during uh, COVID times. And uh, I've been teaching myself how to code so I can get like a nice work from home job. And uh, coding has kind of always appealed to me. So, yeah, I'm gonna try something new. I'm try to do some uh, code kata problems. They're like brain teasers for people who are learning how to code. So, uh, let's find a good one. I may or may not get this correct. So, if you code and you're watching this, and I stumble around. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, uh, uh, the first line of code I wrote was back in August, so that might be why. Um, so let's see. Place all dots. Pass over. Invert values. Sum of positive. Okay, we'll try that. Seems fairly yeah. I'm doing this because I've been working on uh, data structures and algorithms for like the last week. And it's pretty heavy, so I'm trying to find something a little easier. So here it says you get an array of numbers. Return the sum of all the positive ones. Which ones would be numbers? So if you're given this array then you would add up these numbers. Uh, if there's nothing to sum, the sum is default to zero. Okay. So, typically, if you're checking for, like, empty stuff or nothing, uh, you do it up front. So, We'll do that first. R is the variable that's being brought in. Or not variable, this is this is what's being passed in for the test. So we will we'll say if not R. Oh my god. I have my lap my uh, keyboard in my lap, which is not how I usually type, so this could be interesting. So basically, if R comes back falsy, which an empty array would, I believe, <laughs> still kind of know what this. Uh, let's just scoot this back. There we go. Return zero. So that should do that. Um, otherwise. this in a for loop. Um, for number in R. So for each number in R, um, if number is, no, if number is greater than
actually I've learned JavaScript as well, but um, I, I prefer Python. It's nice. It's, it's a lot nicer to code in. Okay, so uh, we'll say pause equals, uh, and these brackets are an empty array. So if the number is greater than or equal to zero, then pause dot append. Um, oh, jeez. I somehow managed to. Uh... <laughs> cool. All right. Pause dot append number. So what this line should do? which is a loop, it executes over and over again for each number in R. So if there are seven numbers, this number, this loop runs seven times. And each time it steps through. Um, so it'll check each number. If the number is greater than or equal to zero, well then it will append it to pause. So pause.append is always a list.append thing you want to append number is the variable we created here. So we're going to take the number, we're going to append it to positive, pause. Um, so that should, this bit right here should come out all the positive numbers. And once we have all the positive numbers, we want to return them. wolfhound. It's a very large puppy. So we'll say return. Oh, okay. I lost my train of thought. So we will add the numbers. Um, and we'll do that by saying sum and then pause. And so what this should do, if I remember correctly, it will just add up everything that's in this list and that's what it'll return uh, and we'll see if i'm correct if i run the test here so it looks like all of our tests are passing um, and when we push the attempt button it will run a lot of tests and we'll see if any of those are messed up uh, which it's not and you can see here, these are the arrays that were passed through. So this function actually combed through this entire array, weeded out the negative numbers, and then added up the positive numbers. So, cool. All right, submit. I'm, I'm doing code katas that are a little easier, or a lot easier than what I am able to do at the moment. Uh, because I'm trying to just have some fun. <laughs> I'm not trying to scratch my brain right now because I've, I've been studying data structures and algorithms for uh, just like 14 hours a day for the last week. Let's try a seven. Return odd no matter what. Grow little population. Happy birthday, darling. Fusion chamber shut down. A rule of divisibility by seven. Well, let's check it out. Okay, now that's a lot of numbers. Back out. <laughs> For a 7Q, I'm not trying to do a whole lot of uh, I hope this isn't super boring. I mean, I guess that's kind of the point. Um, 
Cedar's real spooked out, apparently. Okay, so A is the first string, B is the second string. So we want to compare A and B, which are both strings. zipped it, uh, zipping, I believe, is just for arrays. I think I'll just, I'll use, like, it's probably not good, uh, complexity-wise, but, uh, we'll just use two for loops, right? <laughs> uh, so we'll say, Do this will concatenate. 
STR. B. I think that'll do it. If I'm correct, what this should do. Uh, it should run through A. It should iterate through A in this for loop. If the letter is not in B, well then str plus equals letter. What this does is it it takes the letter and adds it to str a. So it'll add it up here if the letter's not in there. So this will, will collect all the values that are not in b. And also this does the exact same thing but for b. This will collect all the values that are not in a. So we have all the values that are not in B in here, and all the values that are not in A here. And then we will add them together. That's what concatenation is. Man, he's really going off today. Um, anyway, let's push the uh, test button and see where we get here. And it looks like our tests are passing. We'll do we'll attempt. This will run all the tests. And it looks like we've passed 104 tests. So safe to say that this one um, does what it's meant to do. I'm going to submit it. I'm sure that there's a way to do this using like probably a nested list comprehension. Uh, but I'm still trying to figure those out at the moment, so we'll just submit and we'll go see how other people have done this. Ah, uh, see, this is a, a, a. I've seen this. I haven't used this. I need to figure this one out. C for C. Oh, weird. So that's kind of like a. A list comprehension but not not as an array uh, and this person here did uh, I guess maybe you don't need to put the square brackets in there to, to have it do the list comprehension this is a list right and then they're adding the other list then they're joining them right here and this is the same uh, that I just came up with. I could have done this, but I kind of wanted to just do straight coding and not have to research it. Um, yeah, anyway, this is a test. Um, I'm not even sure if I can post long videos anymore. I might be capped at 15 minutes, so I'll go ahead and stop in here. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're interested in seeing more of these, uh, let me know. I know most of you who do watch my videos come here for serene mountainscapes and whatnot, but uh, you know, this is kind of the, the COVID landscape. <laughs> I'm in my room a lot and I'm training for a new career, so uh, yeah, this is what you get for now. <laughs>